Hello everyone, let us see how the code works for uh, finding a perfect number. So what is a perfect number first of all? To find a perfect number, uh, let us take an example of a perfect number. So 6 is our first perfect number. So how do we say that 6 is a perfect number? We are going to see what are the proper divisors, perfect divisors of 6. So the perfect divisors of 6 are termed to be 1, 2 and 3. And I'm also going to tell you the reason why we're going to choose 1, 2, and 3 as the perfect numbers of uh, perfect divisors of 6. So here, when you divide uh, 6 by 1, you have the reminder 0. And when you divide 2 by 1, you have the reminder 0. And when you divide 3 by, uh, sorry, when you divide 6 by 1, you have the reminder 0. When you have the di divided 6 by 2, you have the reminder 0. And when you divide the number 6 by 3, then also you have the reminder 0. That means these three are the perfect divisors. So for the perfect number, we are just going to add all the perfect divisors and the sum of the perfect divisors should be equal to 6. So that is when a number forms a perfect number. So here 6 is a perfect number because 1 plus 2 plus 3 is uh, so its sum of 1, to 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives 6. And the condition over here is the perfect divisors taken it should always be less than the number chosen so now uh, let us see in a programmable way in a program what i am going to do is i am going to take user's input so let me say that i am going to give an input for the user uh, like 1 to 50 if i say 1 to 50 uh, the, there are two prime two prime perfect numbers they are 6 and uh, 28 so it should be able to print 6 and 28 so for this thing um, I am going to use a for loop which actually runs the number uh, 1 to 50 it gets incremented every time I'm going to use a separate variable for this and this actually shows my number and now I am going to divide each number with all the numbers which are less than the number so i have another for loop and inside this i have another variable n and here i have a variable i and here in this int n this is going to be my initialization where it's going to start from one and this n is always going to be less than the i value because i have told six cannot be divided by six itself rather it should be divided by the numbers which are smaller than that so i am going to do n, n is less than i and i am going to say i n plus plus so inside this loop what actually happens is um, imagine that our i is one two three four five and now we come to the sixth point so the sixth number is passed over here so one to fifty is a range limit and six number is getting passed so n is equal to 1. So inside this, I'm going to check if um, i mod n, this gives the reminder, equal to equal to 0. Then I'm going to proceed with the loop. And I'm going to say that uh, the sum will be sum plus n. And I'm also going to initialize in the loop that sum is going to be 0. I'm going to say sum, sum is 0. This is a pseudo code which I can tell. So sum is equal to sum plus n. And this happens every time it is perfectly divisible. So imagine that I have sent uh, 6 over here. And after this, let me complete the code first. I am going to uh, print the number outside this loop. And I say that... Um, if sum equal to equal to i, then print i or sum. So here, what happens is the number 6 is getting inside the loop. number 6 is over get, is getting inside the loop over here and it is checking 6 mod n 6 mod 1 is equal to 0 so it is getting inside over here and sum is 0 and 0 plus uh, n value is going to be 1 so 0 plus 1 the sum value is 1 now and when you go further down you can uh, get back into this loop and n will get incremented the second time so 
6 mod 2 is also equal to 0 and when you get inside some value is already 1 and you add n to that so 1 plus 2 um, is going to be 3 and the third time you're going to do is um, the value of n is getting incremented so the present value of sum is 3 so when i say n is equal to 3 and when i again come inside this 6 mod 3 is equal to 0 so i am getting inside this and then other n value is getting added to this 3 so the n value now is 3 so the sum at this stage is going to be 6 so now what I am going to do is, once I get out of this loop, come out of this loop, um, I am going to print the i value. So here is the Java code for this particular program. Here I have uh, my class perfect and inside that I have the main method. This is my main method and inside this yellow basis I have all the code for this. So initially I am going to say n is equal to 1 where n is used over here. So I am going to display that uh, this is a program to find the perfect numbers between two limits. So this is going to be my first limit i and 50 is my final limit. I am going to increment it. This is going to uh, change the number 1 and 2 and n is going to check the divisor and i mod n is equal to 0. This is getting entered into the loop and sum is getting incremented every time and only if sum is equal to i I am going to print the value of i or I'm going to print the value of sum. So if I run this program, uh, you can see the output is 6 and 28. And the first perfect number in the number system would be 6 and 28. So if you'd like to change the limit, uh, you can change it to 500. And the third number would be 496. So when you run the file, you can see the third number also. So depending on the limit, you get all the perfect numbers which are available. Thank you.